We have journeyed long, and sometimes sung a song. I think a couple times, maybe. Step up, 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 up. It's the hunting jingle. But no longer will the hunting jingle reign supreme, because it's time for the big boy drums of G rank. I will begin now the ascension walk. And where we will arrive, no one could predict. Unless you already know where g rank takes place in Bar Ultimate, in which case you can predict it! I mean, I could take some guesses. As long as you'll give them back afterwards. That doesn't seem helpful to anyone. And now I shall put one foot in front of the other. Hey, Caravaneer. Howdy! Want to see my article? No! Hey, male cat! Meow! I'm actually female. Shut the hell up, I'll kick you! Point of order, I'll kick you because you're annoying, not because you're a cat. If you were a human, I would also kick you for saying that. I appreciate that lack of racism. Okay, just so clear. Now honk your hat for me. Hey, Julius, my man! I tend to go by orange, Julius. Shut up, Julius! Lancer, how you doing? Gold. All right, gonna. Always good to shoot, shoot with you. Shoot the breeze is the saying. I hope everyone remembers at the end of the last episode, the gonna said how she hopes she doesn't grow old and flabby, and I've not just randomly decided to say that, because that would be weird. <laughs> You're trying to kick people, you're insulting their weight, man, just move on. I'm at a real destructive pap. I'm the new Cushelladora! Get out my way! <laughs> man, you're seeming a little rusty to me. Hey, Lancer McNickerson. I've got one question for you, and my question is this. Can I please go upstairs now, please? Please, sir, I saved the whole city. Maybe. I don't like that you said maybe. Make no promises one way or the other. I'm gonna press the button! <laughs> wow, that was too slow! Hey man, how you doing? Pretty good. Really weird that that Wyverian so up close to our screen. It is kind of weird, isn't it? Like, why is he positioned like right up against he's the like screen? He's like floating right in front yeah, of like the camera. Yeah, like right like... there. That's so strange. Yeah. It almost makes him look like he's bigger than the human lances. That's crazy. I don't believe that. Behold his immenseness. Hello and welcome to the Great Hall. I'm the big guy. It's time to raise your defenses because his immenseness is using his sheer size to knock you senseless. Yes, I can talk in the third person because I'm the size of ten nerd persons. Your situation worsens, close the curtains before I wrestle you to the ground. Get ready to pound. Now that you found his immenseness has control of sound. I rule this town compared to me or clown. Red nose, big shoes in a mound of dirt. I'll bury you. Why am I so aggressive? I don't know. This is a bit of a mess of a misunderstanding. You're here to do some quests. And that case have fun i'll just sit here and rest damn dude can flow <laughs> just like his loincloth <laughs> that's such a weird laugh you best be careful because i got flow like my loincloth and i'm not sure that's a loincloth so much as a chest plate sheet yeah but i mean what's it what what's it made of and what's it blocking it could be made of anything and we don't know where wyvarians keep their they're goody bits. Sorry, I'm just enthralled with this reflection in the water on the left. Honestly, I'll take anything that distracts you from Wyvarian goody bits. <laughs> look, at, look at this. I mean, they don't need goody bits. They produce eggs. Like, why, why do you think um, Immensus has got such a big head? Where do you think he keeps his goody bit? Why do you think he got so immense? <laughs> He's actually just turned on right now. His head and always. is... Oh, please! Stop! <laughs> hey, Immensus! You got a big head? Are you just happy to see two new G-Rank <laughs> Wyverian's entire body is their genitals. Why did you have to spell it out? I just like this conceptual. But that's the implication then is that his Immensus is <laughs> massive because he has weaponized being permanently aroused so he can fight <laughs> monsters on their level. Yes, but he also keeps it on in the hub. You you make it sound like he's a lustful wrestler of Rathalos! Oh, don't you have a lust for hunting? <laughs> That's his zoom-in title! Like his immenseness! Lustful Rathalos wrestler! So yes, welcome then to the Elder Hall, the G-Rank Local of Far Ultimate. Our own special place, just for special us, because we're special hunters. I'm special. You are very special all the time. I do appreciate that they've put a normal-sized Wyvarian next to his immenseness, so we can get like a proper a proper comparison. I'm sorry, can you come over here to the left as well? So this one got a got a title, right? G-Rank Questatrix? It's classic, standard. Yeah. I was interested why there was two. What's the other one's title? <laughs> 
Hello, it's me. I'm I'm Wyverian lady. What do you do here? Um, I'm I'm just a Wyverian lady. I just stand behind this counter. I think it's fun. All right, you beautiful, beautiful menschness <laughs> it man. It looks like he's eating the text bubble. It's so small. <laughs> His weapon, though, like honestly, that's pretty. That's a long sword. On behalf of all of us, I welcome you to the Elder Hall. My Thank hall, you. upon my obviously broad <laughs> shoulders, <laughs> rests the great task of running the town of Dunorma. I endeavor to protect her from the calamities. So why didn't you come slamming down on that Kashala? Why, why didn't you? Like, if that cutscene had actually ended with, like, a people's elbow a la his immenseness just raining down from the battlements, oh. I'd also like to point out, this guy's got three distinct styles of facial hair all in the same face. He actually does, doesn't he? <laughs> this guy went to character decoration and just said yes. I'll have pointy beard, um, uh, old-style 1900s mustache, and also a Fu Manchu for my eyebrows. <laughs> Uh, sir, are you sure that's- YOU DARE QUESTION HIS IMMENSENESS?! Also, I'm gonna set all of the character sliders to, to, the, to the right side. I'll be real with you, his immenseness does look like a MMO character designed by you. Correct, yeah. Time and again, you will be laying flat and curse the heavens for burdening you with such arduous tasks. Okay. Is he describing, like, life or hard hunts here? Because I'm honestly not sure. I think he's describing sleep. <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense, all those night terrors. It's the minister. I handle this immenseness's political affairs. Do you mind, man? I'm talking to this guy and you just stand right in front of me. No, I'm talking to this guy. Okay, fine. I guess you're talking to this guy. Sorry, sorry. You you carry on talking to this guy. Oh, special place with all... Ooh, just like his loincloth. I love being near his immenseness's special place. Stop saying that behind me. It feels weird. Oh! He's so powerful that his gong effect is just him slamming his katana down, despite there being an actual gong behind him. Well, I, I think he just hit the, the, the ground so hard it reverberates through the gong, but also I don't think that's a gong. It's just a circular stone. Dude has minotaur feet. Well, that's standard Bravarian, isn't it? Yeah, but at this size, they might as well be minotaur feet. See, look, now we're G1. One. Cut in G1? I only a G1. We're the G1. And what is on that side? Hello, Ivy and Lady. Hey, Hunter, what's up? Wait, you're the one recently got glanced with your request? That's me. Did you overhear it just happening over there? Yes. The immenseness talks loudly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's actually really quiet and really softly spoken. Welcome, Hunter. Have you seen my obviously broad shoulders? What? In G-Rank, you'll face the most terrible monsters to have ever walked this land. Uh, Gypsaros. <laughs> yes, Ephedrome. I don't like the, I don't like the sound of this. If I'm honest with you, can I go back down to high rank? <laughs> G-Rank monsters are just all of the monsters people didn't want to fight at the other ranks. Oh God, Quarker! I've become a Quarker. This loading Quarker. screen turned me into Quarker. a Quarker. I don't Quarker. want to play as a Quarker. Oh, oh, I was I was overreacting. The Quarker was just closer to the camera than than my Hunter was. Quarker. Are you also a quarker? Sorry, man. It happens to everyone. No, I'm just, I'm constantly trying to fix the way that you say that word. Oh, guagua. Gargua. Gargle. Gar gargua. Mouthwash. The W's at the end. Gargua? Gaga. 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 The first one of those that you Gaga. said. Gaga. Gaga. Gregory. Gregory. Get excited uh, for today. Not only are we starting our ultimate drank adventure, you are about to, if you could just pull me up. Oh, thank you. All right. Appreciate that. We are going to introduce you to two Whoa. monsters you have never hunted before. I just got a mope shroom. I think I need to be sad okay, about that. Okay, can you tell me again, but in the correct tone? I just got a mope shroom. It's okay, buddy. We'll get you an excite shroom to counteract it. I don't know, man. I don't... I just... What's the point? <laughs> ah, behold! Desert Seltus! Damn, those are some big horns. Yeah! It doesn't look that much... Like, I guess the color's a little bit different, but the horns are vastly different. One, I would have expected to be more sandy. Two, why aren't we in a desert? <laughs> There's a lot of questions. I accept that. No, that's two questions. That's a reasonable amount of questions. Okay, look, I struggle to answer questions. Any more than one, and it hurts a little bit. Okay. So, they've they've gone... Okay, Celtus is like a flying, like, rhino, rhino beetle monster. And then desert right. Celtus is... Actually, let's go full stag beetle instead. Whoa! Yeah, that's cool. Like, are his horns not mighty? They are quite mighty. I can't disagree with that. First impression of uh, Big Boy Desert Boy. Got some mighty thorns. Horns? Thor thorny horns. I mean, he's got some thorny horns, isn't he? His thorny horns make me horny. His horny thorn horn. Horny th 
he has horny thorny horns when he sees Queen Celtis. That makes me feel scorned. Queen Celtis and Celtis Queen, while the same thing, sound very tonally different. I don't know, I'm torn. Like, you can have a load of Celtis Queens, but only one of them can be Queen Celtis Queen. I, I suppose so. And that's something you can put on a shirt. I guess it's like a, it, but no, because it's like a, it's like a Queen Bee. That That's that's just the description of that. Where are you going? Is he just drifting? Another zone, probably. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Explain yourself! <laughs> Do you not like... <laughs> Why do you just slowly fly to the other side of the zone and then dig? Also, there's a Rajang here! Excuse me? Oh my god, there is just a Rajang here! But why? <laughs> ow! Rajang, why? Ow! Fucking ow! Why is there a G-Rank Rajang here? He just almost one-shot me. It's because he's a G-Rank Rajang. I know, that, I know, but that's why I'm confused as to why he's here. He shouldn't be here if he can do that. <laughs> well, you know, you gotta make sure you're up for a right proper challenge that is G-Rank. Yeah, but he's not the start of G-Rank. He is now! Ah, he one-shot me! You got pinball. And I'm not even a wizard! Which, I mean, you got pinned in the ball. So do you like that the desert Celtus can apparently yeah, burrow? I, I mean, I'm fine with the fact that he can. I don't know why his leaving animation is flies to the corner of his own. Well, and he has to digs. get to his preferred tunnel, you know. I, I guess so. So the whole thing with with desert Celtus is they spend a lot of time underground. You know what? This actually, I've decided this bothers me a little bit. Of the two of them, I think regular Celtus should be the digger because he's more like a drill. You know. I guess you're right. The stag split horn is really not conductive to burrowing. I mean, it's conductive to digging because you can kind of like shovel with it. Well, all I know is I walked back into the zone and almost got one shot by the Rajang again. Well, on the bright side, Celtus left that zone. Oh, thank God. No, he's coming to my zone because I followed him. Also, he's paintballed, so you know where he well, is. What if I wanted to hunt old school? What do you mean old school? Paintballs and maps have been a part of Monster Hunter the entire time. <laughs> Back in my day, we didn't have no fancy fancy maps or any way of tracking the monster. I mean, it also did feel like that with how hard it was to actually find Oh well, yeah, but that's just the first time. Then you use a paintball and you can track I them. I still really want them to explain why a monster having a splodge of, of pink paint on it means that we now can just instinctually know where it's it is. Probably not literally times. paint. It's more like pheromones, I guess. It's like, like, a, like an equivalent. Like, it just makes a really nasty... Yeah, like, like it just makes it emit a really nasty smell that we can follow. Dung pod should be paintballs. I think the monster's in that zone. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, he's, he's in there. It's at least in that direction. <laughs> Why is he just attacking that country? What did it do to deserve this? Well, have you never... You never, you never heard of Bug Wars? Is that like Robot Wars, but with living creatures? No, have you, did you ever see a show called Monster Bug Wars? No. So it was like a, it was like a it, it's supposed to paint itself as like a do, as a as a documentary like informational and technically there was okay. true information about the insects and stuff but they'd basically take two insects that you know naturally encounter each other and one of them predates on the other or they have like a territorial dispute they have a reason to come into con like contact and yeah some of them some of them date each other you know monster monster bug weddings was a fantastic sequel oh god the whole ground so. Dude. They just take two and six that interact negatively for whatever reason, and then they yeah. dress it up like this versus death battle. Here are the stats of insect A. Here are the stats of insect B. But what'll happen when they meet? You know, give it the narration. Then they have experts so, trying to weigh in over which one's gonna win the oh, I got you. fight. Um, De deadliest warrior, but for bugs. Yes, literally deadliest warrior, but for bugs. But then I love they that show. Joe. <laughs> yeah, deadliest warrior was. Awesome! Man. I, don't care what I can't believe says. they stopped it. Like, why? Why did they? Why right? did they stop it? Like, I don't care if it wasn't accurate. Like, ah, oh, we ran a simulation of how this battle yeah. would play out, where ninjas <laughs> ninjas would fight uh, Egyptian shield bearers. It's like, man, this is no sense. Did, great. Like, ninjas and pirates, and they got people yeah. to dress up and act out the fight. And it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, it was fucking great. I love that shit. <laughs> the thing is, they weren't. They were onto something because it is an instinctual itch to scratch. Everybody wants to know who would win in any given fight. Like, it's just, you can't yeah, help especially it. Especially between fighting type people, you know? Exactly. So in the monster version, they would show the, mo the the bugs going at it, but obviously because it's not warriors, they can't do like a cool choreographed scene that they film to, to display <laughs> it. Bugs. It's just two bugs doing what they do. People. 
bug costumes, it'd be the same thing, basically. And obviously it's over pretty quickly, because bugs don't fuck around, they just grab and kill. So they just yeah. used to really play up the suspense, replay the approach clips, but the worst part of it is they would add sound effects over the top. So they'd have, like, a praying mantis sat there, and then they'd overlay, like, a lion growling sound. Wow. Like, it's... And it's like, what, what are you doing? And then they'd, like, grab, and then they'd be like this whishing sound, and it's like, this this is not what bugs do. This isn't science. And also, it should have been Monster Insect Wars. Or just Insect Wars. Or just Insect Wars, you know? Just Insect Wars. And I watched so much of it. I really like Desert Seltus. I think he's so much better than regular Seltus. I like his moveset more. Now, I, obviously, I like the way that regular Seltus looks. Obviously, obviously what's, a, what's a bold assumption you can make based on your encounter with... Desert Celtus. He likes deserts? You know, you got it in one. He likes... He likes dessert. He likes... De <laughs> dessert Celtus comes out with two cakes on each horn. Give me a pudding! I'm gonna assassinate him. Can you assassinate a bug? Really? Let me go, let me he go. Looks like he's stuck. He genuinely looks like he was yeah, trying look, to move I'm, I'm stabbing him with my, with my carving knife. Look, let me go. Let me go. Oh, I did not know that you could do that. Yeah. That's interesting. <laughs> I'm getting him, man. I blocked all the paralysis him. attacks for you so that you wouldn't get paralyzed. Oh, no. He saw through my ploy. It's really hard to get different extracts from him because all of his legs are white buff and they are the majority of the surrounding of his body. It's all really weird to me to imagine your little bug extracting from a big bug. I don't know. It makes a lot of sense. It's bug wars. Oh, yeah. Dwarf wins. God, yeah. We just did an episode of Monster Bug Wars. Oh, my God. So does the double jaggy. Oh, wait, no, you don't have the Jaggy. The, yeah, the Jaggy poked his head into the death camera, saw the dead Celtus, and then just reversed out of the situation. Like, oh, never mind. This is a bad idea for me. I had to get queen substance from a little one. Well, uh, you know. I'm just holding on to it for later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell me to keep it safer. Well, I messed that up. I know where the monster is. Is it right in front of you? No, but I'm psychic. <laughs> Why did you say that? Like, you're up to no good. No, but I'm psychic. Keep heading that direction. What else do you see with your psychic powers? I'm not that direction. Like a, like a three direction? Like a three direction. What else does your new mind visions bequeath upon thee? Nothing, it's over. Oh, that was very anticlimactic psychicness. Sorry, it doesn't last very long. It just comes in waves when I eat the right food combination. <laughs> it sounds like more of an issue than a blessing. It is. Behold! <laughs> Saturated Ketchawatcha! Oh! This is Ash Ketchawatcha. Ash Ketchumwatcha? This is, this is Ash Ketchawatcha. Ash Ketchumwatcha? Ash Ketchumwatcha. He dreams of one day acquiring them all. Understandable. I mean, the mall is, is, is a really cool place for people to go and do <laughs> it stuff. It really does just sound like bootleg Pokemon. It does. My name's Ash Ketcha from Ancient Step. I wanna be the greatest one. Like, no humans been before. For to trap them is my challenge, and to give them experience my goal. Monsters! <laughs> Monsters! Each new captive to learn about the fire that's within. Organ so true! <laughs> oh my god! He really did not enjoy that pre-mount experience. No, he had a rough time. It's it's hard to be mounted midair. I am struggling to contain my my blood. Well, just wear some blood containers. I can't afford blood containers. We'll just spare some. Just donate some blood. I, that would worsen my blood loss problem. Yeah, but it would get you blood containers. It all works. You gotta spend. You gotta, it's like some like I've just been stabbed. You gotta spend blood to make blood. Get me to a donation clinic right now while I've got a leak. That's not how it works. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I'm about to die. I need to get rid of my spare blood in a helpful way. <laughs> I'm bleeding out. Please, somebody use it. Get it in the bag. Did you say your blood was going free? No, not you. <laughs> what do you think would, like, if you, like, were able to procure your own blood bags, and then, like, if you just, like, accidentally, like, cut yourself, and then you manage to get it into the blood bag, can you just, like, show up to a blood donation clinic with just, like, a bag of blood, and would I they take it? I don't think so. I think they have to verify that it was obtained in a medically sound, safe, and secure way, and well, isn't yeah, contaminated. But they, can, like, they, can, they can test the blood. I don't think they would agree to test a bag of blood brought in by a punter <laughs> out of nowhere. But, 
but like they need blood. Otherwise, they wouldn't be looking Con- for donations. Don't take Surely they can't turn blood, blood away. To blood banks, okay? I'm just saying they shouldn't turn blood away if they're looking for it long enough to open entire clinics for this shit. Also, why are they called blood banks of all of all things? It's for for storing the blood, like financing a bank the blood implies that you could make a, a blood, blood loan? withdrawal. Or yeah, like like a, get a blood mortgage. Yeah, get a blood mortgage. Can you get a bl- approved for some blood credit? Like, I why is it a blood bank? Yeah, I'd like to open a new blood account, please. So, will that be a general or a saver? Ah, uh, I do wanna, I do wanna grow my blood. More blood's good for the body. It does occur if you were a vampire, secret vampire, and you wanted blood, obviously, because you're a vampire. You could totally just get away with opening and running a blood clinic. Like, it's the perfect cover. I mean, it, I, I see your theory, but I feel like there's some sort of regulation for where the blood goes after what, the fact. They, I thought you were going to say there's some kind of check and they don't let vampires open blood well, clinics. Well, yeah, they, they ask you if you're a vampire, and if you say yes, then, then they crucify you. <laughs> so you want you. to start a new, uh, new blood bank in the local area? I do! And you say you're not a vampire? Absolutely not! Can I just take your photo? No, please! Step outside for the next portion of the interview. I'd rather not! You know, I told you I'd prefer to have this interview at night. My sleeping pattern's not very good. <laughs> it's like I'm rising from the grave in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> and how many blood banks do you see yourself opening? As many as you will let me! One! Ah, uh, ah! Uh, two! Ah, uh, ah! Uh, three! <laughs> I can Why keep going. Just tell me the number. <laughs> 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 it's just like in the break room. Yeah, I had another obvious vampire try and get approved earlier. Honestly. What'd you do? I uh, took out my wooden stake and finished them on the spot. <laughs> wow, it's pretty cool. It's bad you got approval for that. Well, what do you want me to do? Call the vampire police? <laughs> <laughs> It's funny because the vampire police are actually vampires that are police. I mean, it's an effective police force for night crime. Well, it depends, because I don't think they'd be against anything violent that would have leftover blood to uh, examine. You could have order-loving vampires. I mean, I, I, I suppose, but, like, could you trust them, really? Not like those werewolves. They'd be all about chaos. I don't know. I think you need to have a mix of both, or else one of them would win. Like, if you have exclusively vampire cops, then the werewolves would get a really bad A treatment. zombie, vampire, and werewolf all bite you at the same time. What happens? You die? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I guess you're not wrong. It's not where I was going, but I guess, yeah, you just fucking die, don't you? You just, you just you dead. die, and then may- maybe you become un- un- undead. <laughs> that wasn't a stutter. Okay, let's say they all bite you once gently and then leave. I, mean, I think no matter what, you, you do die at least in the technical sense, because two of them require you to die for their effects to take part. Like, I think the werewolf gets immediately overwritten by the... Well, I mean, no, because a vampire biting you doesn't do anything. It doesn't turn you into a vampire. No, a vampire needs to drain your blood to turn you into a vampire. No, most of them go with you just get bitten. No, it's, sorry, no, a vampire needs to give you their blood. That's how vampires work. That's how some vampires work. I think the most common is they just bite you and you become one. I think that's the least common. That's zombie mechanics. If a vampire were to... Were yeah, to vampires were to, do have zombie mechanics. Don't think that's the standard. In fact, I th- I'm pretty sure zombies got their mechanics from original vampire tales. Well, I mean, the standard way for vampires to eat is to bite someone and drain their blood. I love that we're talking about this like they're real documented uh, species. I mean, the, there there is documentation as to the, the mythos of their existence. It's just like going back and forth, I oh, think, just mounted. Mount. Yes! All right. An easy mount, because he's exhausted. Weak prey makes my day. You know the expression. Uh, this is the first time I've heard it, but it sounds right to me. Yeah, I'm hoping to make it a thing. You like to make things things. Just I'm hoping to kill this uh, sketch of wet He didn't die. No, I mean, he's going to in a second, just not yet. You gotta find the right moment. And he yelled, and it hurt. Oh! It hurt him. Okay. A lot. That's ironic. It's like, oh, finally, I'm not exhausted, but I am angry. Sorry, I meant in agony. Ah! I love that those two Jackie are like, Jesus, Dave, they're already back with another dead monster. They just were here with Celtus. Every time. What is it with these people? I can't believe they brought a desert Celtus here just to kill it. It's not even in the desert. It wasn't me. I don't believe you. Oh. That's right, I can do oh. that. 
I can do this. You're not allowed. Only great sun users know how to use their legs. What are you doing? You got shoulders, you got legs. You got to share some of those body parts, man. And there we have it, everybody. G rank, G started. And the Elder Hall and his immenseness is now a part of our lives. Finally. What are your words for... It's what we've been waiting desert for. Desert bug. He's so immense. No, no, desert bug. Twice as horny. <laughs> no, desert bug. Where color go. Where color go indeed, Cotton. Alright, guys. Like you've enjoyed this. Subscribe and above all, consider supporting the future of the channel on Patreon down below. And until we meet again... Oh, God. Bye. Goodbye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is. Uh, goodbye.